Hi guys, welcome back to Warehouse Workshop. It's been a long time. Apologies for the um, delaying getting another video out. Hope you're still there. Um, this evening, I am going to be attempting to deplate some silver. So I've got, um, well, let me see my technical technical uh, specs. I've got three batches to go through. Uh, 715 grams, 685, 426, equates to 1.826 kilograms. Now, all this silver is not just really, things like that, which is a that's part of a pepper pot. Um, so those I've got four pieces of those. The actual stuff I'm taking that's off a fuse, large fuse. Um, it's mainly out of electrical components, so we've got switches, um, fuses, these are big fuses, silver plated, with copper underneath. So, we're going to have a go at stripping them. There's also these, I believe they're silver plated, just look a bit different to the others. Anyway, it's an experiment, let's see what we can get. So in the var in the in the vase, it's not a vase, it's a beaker. In the beaker, we've got two um, tablespoons of salt in with a stainless steel rod in on the anode, I believe, uh, cathode, I believe. Please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And we're just going to pour in some water. That should have dissolved a lot of the salt. Looks as though I've put a bit too much in there, but you know. Let's see how it goes. It's all an experiment. Now, what we've got to run through is a 12 volt, it's actually an old battery charger. Sorry, I can't see it, the cable's a bit tight. We just need 12 volts running through it. The salt water will act as an electrolyte. Um, you'll see when I drop, turn it on and drop some of the silver in. Attached obviously to the red terminal, the live terminal. Anode cathode, cathode on it. Don't know, can't remember. See if it works or I'll blow myself up. I don't know if you can see that, I don't think you can, but we are getting see if I can raise it up. You can see that. A lot of bubbles coming off the stainless steel, which means something is working. And it does look as though yep, it's taking it off. Take that out. You just see on there. See the colour difference? I, sorry about the light, it's a bit bright. You see a colour dis difference. So let's leave that in there for a little bit. Now I'm obviously not going to show you me stripping every little bit down because there's oodles and oodles of that. What I'm going to do, because some of these have got loops on. Is put copper through them um, and suspend them in there and see how that goes. So what I'll do is I'll just keep plodding on doing this. If anything exciting happens, I'll cut back in. Right, so the situation now is I went through quite a, a few um, pieces, so I reckon I've got up to, I think my last weight was about 430 grams. Uh, I processed through the cell, just changing the um, solution over after every batch, 
only doing like you see now we've got a couple one two two bits in there so I wasn't doing a great deal at the time um, as I say I'm a novice at this so this is just an experiment but it's, it's quite fun is this one um, yeah so I've done I did about 430 grams I've worked it out as and I've done some more um, what I've found so far um, is bits like these are the better ones to do now it's, um, it's pretty obvious really I've done a couple of these but I'm not having much success with them uh, it's taking a bit of getting off uh, and it's not coming off very well so maybe a different um, solution something like that um, the better ones I've been doing are, um, obviously them uh, them which are the fuse holders which held these fuses I've tried a couple of them they were, I was struggling with them as well but these I've got two of those in at the moment that one's come up brilliant should have removed that really but that's a steel pin but it didn't seem to affect anything and these obviously there's still a bit of silver on that I might chuck them in a bit later uh, the last last drop but managed to get most most of it off that one now obviously it, it makes sense that I'm getting more off these these are quite thick plated because these have come out of some serious breakers some big breakers same as these these are like industrial breakers so they've got quite a good coating on they take a couple of couple of turns to to get them fully stripped I have got one in there at the moment you see attached to the top so yeah you can see the black bits floating around um, those are the bits coming off now well, that one's funny because that one's black and that one isn't but anyway so let's go on to the so these are the smaller ones now these are the those are again off big sweet big um, breakers there was a silver contact on there so I've basically ground it off and I'm saving that in a tub uh, and that's for a later refine but I've tried a couple of these and again not great but it makes sense because these are these are just off your normal fuses your normal um, breakers uh, your small ones so um, 32 amp I think these are off so there isn't a massive plating on, on these um, so I am going to do them but I'm just not going to do them at the minute because the ones I have done have all had a loop or, or an eye in them where you can hang them so you see that I've broken that one off there I'll, I'll reattach that and then I can hang it in the solution these I don't know whether to do a basket for because they're just, I'll clip them to the side but it's going to take forever clipping them to the side so there's still a good few grams there left to do those I'm just going to hang on for easy I'm just gonna hang on onto for a bit longer maybe I might do me this one I might try a different solution but I don't know so um, with the 400 grams uh, these probably up to 500 600 grams with these um, but I've, I've still got my tally going so I'll, I'll update you now with this you see that in there so that is the stuff that I've pulled off at the moment now, that to me just looks like rusty crap, but I'm going to melt it anyway, and I'll probably melt it very shortly. I'm just trying it out now so I can get it into Crucible, just so I can see what kind of stuff I'm dealing with, whether that just disintegrates into a tiny, tiny bead of half a gram. I don't know, so it's all a learning curve. But that is that is what I've recovered so far. What I was finding, the all that, all that lot there, is off the bigger stuff here now the the where is it gone where's it gone that was just coming off in in a powder now somebody with more experience is probably going to tell me in the comments if they see this video and I'm, I'll much appreciate it and that's these are just old salt and pepper pots so yeah majority of that is from these so if you're looking out anyway I mean I save all the bits out of the breakers the small breakers the big breakers 
um, these are the ones really to go for saying that I don't know the yield on them so <laughs> you might get half a gram off all this but let's just say right I'm gonna shut this down now and leave it I'm gonna continue drying that out drop it in the crucible and see what we've got so yeah catch you in the next bit got the um, silver powder in the crucible, I've warmed it off, just going to put a bit of heat on it, see what happens, a bit of borax and then go from the uh, back. I'm going to put borax on it now, let's just see. See it on the camera, but I'm starting to see little beads forming. So hopefully, we've uh, we have got some silver here. Hopefully. I'm just going to concentrate on the melt now. So I'll just I'll catch you guys in a bit. just tipped it in I couldn't get the camera on but on it because I was concentrating so much but I just quenched it and that where are we 
put it on the thing up. Put that there. This is the bar. Now I am quite amazed at that. That's Right, so the camera died on, uh, on just after that melt. That's why it seemed to cut off pretty fast, uh, pretty quickly. So we've got the little little bitty there. It's still got a little bit of flux on it. See, still got a little bit of not flux, a little borax, uh, a bit of red on it, but that does chip off. So let's. Give it a test on there. Three point six grams. That's all right. Uh, bear in mind, I've still got uh, this to go through. I'm not going to do that one. What can I do them? I don't think. Uh, there's something else coming off them. These ones. They're not silver as I found out. So those are coming out. Um, I have chucked a couple more bits in here. These little bits. Just because I knew, you know, I, I didn't know at the time. Because I'm taking these bits out. And these other bits. Um, I did a, I carried on doing these. That one needs to go in again. That one does. That was the last one I did, so that needs to go in a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's a bit shiny there. But that one, a lot of the, a lot of it's come off that, so we'll see. So we'll continue on. But what I have got is um, I've done a bit more because it's been a couple of days since I, I melted that when the, when, the, when the camera died. But I have got a bit more in there. So I'm toying with the idea of melting that and then melting that together while this is in the cylinder. In in the cylinder, yeah, in the yeah, cylinder in the solution. So I think I'll do that. I'll set the solution up again and get that little one melted, then probably jo do, uh, join them together. See if we can get a proper bar. Proper bar! Alright, catch you in a bit. <laughs> 